Welcome to the first ever late episode of the pod. Is it the first time? Of the year, probably. Let's just say that because for sure this year we've never been late. I don't think now. we've ever been on a Monday, have we? Podcasts um, don't go up usually on Mondays. The worst podcasts go up on Mondays. Monday morning with Bill Burr. I like. Sorry, it. Bill. No, I like that one. But maybe we're going to change it because you need something to start your mornings. Um, we're just a little bit late because... <laughs> I have to. I, you know what I feel like every time I bring up my wisdom teeth? It's like the girl who like has a cast on her leg at school. <laughs> like that the one who's just fragile boned for like. Or just has to tell people like, just like, girl, you do not need a cast. Like that's I had what one. I, I like. had one in my school. Did you have a fragile bone girl in your school who was always in a cast? Oh, yeah. But they're always very. They're always quiet and very nice. Yeah. Uh, you know, kind of unassuming. So you can't really say much. But how do they get in those incidences? They're all fake. They're always fake. I, I did that once. Once I, I sprained my ankle and I told everyone I fractured it. And I wasn't wearing like a cash cast. I was just wearing like that plastic gray one. And for some reason, my teacher like grilled me. She was like, fracture, huh? Like, tell me more. And I was like, well, it's a fracture. Oh. And she's like, well, was it minor or was it on the labia or whatever the fuck? And I'm like, um, I don't know. And you should have said, I don't answer questions. <laughs> You have to take the lead. I have to take I, the I, lead? Yeah, okay. Is it hurting? You're, it, it's a little bit yellow. It's almost like you have jaundice or something. On the something. outside? A little bit, like slightly tinged. Ugh. It's okay, man. I was trying to... I The other day, when was it? Yesterday? I was trying to reassure you. You were panicking. You said, is this ever going to go away? Is this? Ever? I'm like, dude, yes, it's going to go away. Things are always going to get better. We did shrooms and everything was fine after. Yeah. Because I know you were having a, maybe a little bit of a bad trip. Actually, I was too, to be honest. I think I looked great in the video, but I think you were... Well, before we talk about the shrooms, I just, I'm just going to get all... I'm going to just talk about... Okay, they're all fighting. Whoa, all whoa, I've never seen this before. I've never seen this before. Yeah, Rudy, right. come so here. Always never seen come it. here, guys, come here. Don't come behave. on, up. And you go there. Go, go lay down. Rudy, go lay down. Well, before we get into everything, else, I'm going to just have my one go at the wisdom teeth, and that's it. I mean, I'm never going to talk about it again, okay? Okay. I just need to get it out. I know many of you are tired of it. Mar and I know is tired of it. It's just... I just, it's just a warning for you guys who haven't done it yet. My number one thing is there's just so much they don't tell you about. I thought, you know, Marn was like, you're too cocky going into this. And yes, I was. And I'll say that now. But I thought it was the hour long pulling the teeth out, whatever, hoo ha. Because that's something you have to do. I'm very good at going into things that are unavoidable with the mindset of this is unavoidable. Let's just do it. I, dude, I literally thought there would be relief. I thought I would feel good. That's how f wrong I was. I thought removing the teeth would actually feel good. It's like a relief that something's gone. I described it on my story as empty nose syndrome. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah, you've talked about it a bunch of times. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Dude, look. It's, I, it's like the scariest syndrome. It's these people who get so many plastic surgeries on their nose that their nose is still there, but then they don't feel it anymore. Michael had that? Probably. Wait, so you don't know what I'm talking about. Michael had that, right? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, yeah, we probably did. That's what it feels like in my mind. And my point is, just to you guys, just go into it. Have no other commitments going on, all right? You know, I'm not only, I'm, qu I'm quitting sucking, spitting, coughing, laughing, smiling. It goes deep. I have it. I'm, but now I'm on the left. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't even do it. You're quitting sucking? You're quitting spitting? What are you talking I about? I can't suck or spit. So, uh, you, so know. you must swallow then, is what you're saying. I can't even barely swallow. Is your tongue bruised or something? Yeah. Dude, come on. You're complaining about all this stuff. Can't you know there's suck. girls that give head out there. I know, and I feel for you, and that's what I think about during these times. I'm actually in the last step of it where it's gratitude. I'm like... I'm like, I'm so, I'm so destroyed that I'm just like looking at plants on the ground and I'm like, wow, life is beautiful. I think you were saying something about vegetables. You're saying about all like the gross foods that like, they're not so gross anymore. Like no. you'll eat them now. Like you'll eat everything now. I called my mom just so she could tell me stories of my grandmother who has ALS. <laughs> to like compare? To just ground me more. And it did. And I was like, wow. Because it could be worse. Yeah. She's like out of a tube, you know, the whole thing. So it's like. But still, 
I'm not going to diminish my. No, trauma. don't. Cause that's what people say is like, you know, you're, 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 you're still valid. You know, your complaints are still valid. I'm letting you do this right now. Your wisdom teeth is your get out of jail free. You know, you don't, you didn't even let me. I tried, I tried to rant to you. You were like, shut up. <laughs> nah. Cause well, I cause, cause you know what? Cause I did tell you in the beginning, that's all. Like I, I was trying to warn you and you were like, nah, I'm not going to go under either. I'm just going to go. Do yeah, this. exactly. Cause I thought it was the operation, not the recovery. The thi- I'm not even in the close to tail end. Like I'm not even there. I'm, there's still huge holes. Like, I don't know what, when, I, I Dude, you kept Annabelle's sending me this morning. You kept sending me pictures of holes in your mouth. You kept sending me pictures. Like I'm like just trying to go about my day, and you're sending pictures inside your mouth saying, "Is this normal? Is this normal?" Like, dude, yes, I got my wisdom teeth out too, but that doesn't mean I know every question. Well, I, I'm just looking for help. I'm just looking for. A no one can help you. You're alone. That's what wisdom teeth is. You're alone in this battle. That's what it is, man. And I'm not. Like, maybe that's what I'm so uncomfortable with, man. You ate out Annabelle. What were you saying? I ate, I can't even eat ass. I quit. I'm, I'm out. I can't even eat ass. No, you can't. To. You can't. Because if ass. it gets anything gets in that hole. Oh, infection. Dry then socket. you're getting gangrene. Something. You're cutting your jaw. Can't eat ass. Can't vape. Can't. Can't. Not like there's just. Hey, are you having fun, man? I'm. I'm glad you're having fun. Whoa. He's really having fun. <laughs> I've never. Wait till he gets his joys. teeth pulled, huh? Yeah. Can't do. I, would, I ate Animal's mac and cheese this morning, Bevo style, just swallowing it whole, in preparation for Martin's birthday dinner tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It's your birthday tomorrow. It's my birthday today, technically, because this podcast is being uploaded. Boy, shut the. Come f- on, we want to be accurate, guys. Accurate. Yeah, we want to be accurate. I can't laugh. Don't make me laugh. Please. I'm not trying to make you laugh. <laughs> happy birthday to me, guy. Happy birthday. Say happy birthday. Happy birthday, Martin, guy. Okay. This is some Cody co ass <laughs> shit with their podcasts. What did, what did they do in their podcast? Well, they literally post episodes like six months later. Oh my God, you're so right. Except this is 24 hours and it still feels wrong. And it wrong. still feels wrong because <laughs> it's not current. It's not current. We're actually doing the opposite. We're recording a podcast. Oh, wait, no, no it's, the not. Same. it's the same. No, you're the Time. One. It's a confusing thing for people. Yeah, six months. Also, don't do that. I don't think there's, I don't even think it's a widespread trend. I think it's just TMG's. Like I'm actually interested. I'm see, I see Emma Chamberlain. Yeah, I'm like, oh, this is on the recent. Podcast. This is recent. Let me see what's going on. Why is your wife pregnant again? It, How long like, is your wife pregnant for? Like this, this baby is in her stomach for fifteenth <laughs> years. <month. laughs> and it's that's like, what it is. That's what I want to do with Mandy. Though, is milk it that long? Oh, because it gives you something to talk about. You can talk about the baby the entire podcast. That's probably what the podcast was about. I only watched like five minutes of it, but. Yeah, don't, I don't know why they do that. It's very dumb, but I just want to say happy We'll birthday. get to that point eventually, guys. You'll see out of character at some point. We're probably going to pre-record a video like a year before. Of what? Like, let's record, it, let's record another podcast tomorrow and release it a year from now just to see the progress. Yeah, n- nothing, would be, nothing would make sense. We'd probably be saying things that are cancelable in a year. And it, it, yeah. It's, Internet moves fast. You can't do that. You could have done that probably years ago, but now yeah. you can't. You can't. Especially if you're not talking about anything like consequent, like anything meaningful. Mm-hmm. Um, we dropped the podcast you're still talking about your wisdom to you yeah. and it's like boy you got those out a year ago <laughs> no happy birthday tomorrow and I'm and I was practicing my I was swallowing pasta hole so that we can get something at this nice restaurant yeah I, I like got the reservation well Mandy booked the reservation I'm, I heard it's going to be awesome they have nice pasta there that's that's all I know I know I'm, I'm gonna call in for a soup or something if they got um because it was not fun. Ask before. them to do what the birds do for their for their kin. Puree? Yeah, they like mash it up with their mouth. So ask the server to mash it up before. Oh. Not with her mouth, but mash it up. Maybe if it's the same waiter from last time, I'd love her to mash it up in her mouth and give it to me. Wow. I can't. But I probably couldn't even do that. I'm not allowed to kick. My mouth also, if, you're, if my breath smells bad, let me know. I know you're you're really concerned if your breath smells like uh, what were you calling it surgery breath? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like it smells like surgery. It's like one above cavity breath. It's like it's surgery. Yeah. No, it has an eerie because <laughs> I taste it. I taste. You know what I taste? I taste like the I'm latex someone, gloves that were inside. I taste someone else's mouth. Whoa, like two mouths. Because it's not yours. It's a new mouth. It's you like got a new seeping mouth. out of these holes. Acid. Anyway, I feel like a, a Pokemon that has like a special attack. Like, like, Use gangrene or something. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking fish had a special attack yesterday, dude. This guy, for the first time ever, I witnessed the worst thing. It was, he went into the litter box and just oriented his body a different way so that he was just pissing outside the litter box. 
he just sprayed his piss outside the litter box. And me and Mandy, while we were playing Stardew Valley, because we've been playing that all day, every day, because um, a new update's out, and guys, go play it. Um, and we just turn our heads, and we just hear, like, like a water stream. And it's just piss all on the floor. And it was the weirdest thing in the world. It was really it's like straight. he forgot how to use it. Mm. Yeah, it was straight. And it actually sprays really far. So that was interesting to see. And we had to clean it up. And obviously, cat piss smells like crazy. Isn't that some? It's a euphemism for weed, even. Some people smell cat like piss, like yeah. cat piss. Oh, look at you. Oh. I forgot about that. That's an old one. That was, that was a year ago, man. Don't say that now. It's outdated. Well, if it was Cody Coe's podcast, it would be freaking. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've been playing Stardew, man. It's so fun. I, I envy you. I'm, I mean, I, I may have made it clear, but to play with a significant other, that sounds it's like a different a lot of fun. experience. Because I caught the, the funniest thing ever is just like catching yourself role playing. Um, Carl, seriously, dude. Don't worry about it. The funniest thing ever is catching yourself role playing while playing with your with your partner, with your significant other in, in Stardew Valley. Is like Mandy's just working on the farm, making everything look pretty. I'm out in the freaking skull cavern, floor 20, getting my ass beat by some mosquitoes and whatever. And I come home after a long day and I'm like, wow, that was crazy. Skull cavern. I'm tired. Anything. Did you make any food? Anything <laughs> like we're actually like living in the freaking dark ages. Oh, no. But that sounds fun. It's fun. It is, yeah, it's really fun. And it's like the music, we're like putting it full blast because it's just incredible. It, and it's all one guy. It's, yeah. It's the equivalent of like the the Tame Impala. Like, mm -hmm. Did you know this is not one guy? Do you think he gets a lot of like action? I would give him some for what he's done to me. It's the least I could do. Maybe something small with my hands. He deserves it. Seriously. Someone give him some head. <laughs> Don't say that. So no, that was a, that's a meme. It's a meme. It's not. It is. Somebody get this man some head. I think it's a meme. I, when someone does something like really good, somebody give this man some head. I don't think that's a meme. Do you want to start it? Are you trying to start it now? Let's start it. All right, give him like the template to work with here. No, just someone does something incredible that you really like enjoy. Somebody get this man some head. So direct. It's it's bouncing. So many things you could do before. Somebody get this man some head. It's like an order, because it's so good. I like it. I'm not. I'm not against. Let's do it. Um, am I more mumbly? No, actually, you're talking. I think you're. I think you're on the tail end of it now. I think you're entering a new. Because yesterday was pretty bad. I remember you were. You were. Yeah, slurring some words more than usual, and I was trying to figure out what you were trying to say. It was like, I'm like decoding your. Yeah. Well, I'm. A, I'm getting probably a dry socket for a podcast. Is that? There's no. There was no wisdom in what you were saying. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't have laughed at that whether I had my teeth out or not. I'm sorry, bro. It's worth a try. That's what I'm here for. Well, well you want to recap our shroom in endeavor? Oh, yeah. Shrooms. Very we exciting. just posted a groundbreaking video, guys. Two idiots take shrooms at Comic-Con. <laughs> yes, and there's so much so much context missing there. So we're going to try to give you some here. A, um, yes, we did fully take, fully effective, fully cohesive, you know, shrooms to the meaning of shrooms they were shrooms mm. um b we are are relatively experienced i mean we're not it's not probably like our s no we talked to the guy dude he this is what we walked into the store there's a store to purchase there's literally a store yeah there's literally a store so relax when you know i don't want to see any comments saying we obtain these illegally this is a store i i don't know what if it's legal or, or not i don't know i'm not sure but um, we walked into the store and we asked the guy we said hey you know how much is enough to 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 take with these because we bought these little chocolates. It's it's a chocolate. We weren't actually eating the actual mushroom. But then the guy said, "Well, are you guys experienced?" And I was like, "Oh yeah. Well, I've you know I've done it like two or three times." And he's like, "Oh, like he he got scared when we said that." And I was like, "Well, we're going to." He's like, "Are you guys going to be like at home chilling?" And I said, "No, we're actually going to Comic Con." And then that's when he started freaking out. He said, "Okay, don't take too much donuts." So yeah. The guy, so the guy actually. Running the stand pulled back, yeah. And thank God he did because it was a full uh, experience, and um, it was maybe the longest day of uh, in a while. It mm -hmm. felt super duper long. The video feels long. I feel like it does. <laughs> it is. It is. That's I can't what tell it's because we're reliving it. When I watch it, I'm like feeling what I felt. Mm -hmm. But I saw some people comment like, "Wow, this felt like a day." Well, at its core, what are you watching? I mean, you're watching two guys just walk around aimlessly partaking in zero events at comic-con just looking at people's cosplay but there wasn't much to do that was my kind of gripe with comic-con i didn't feel like there was much to do there 
Maybe it just wasn't made for us. Maybe there was stuff there to be excited about that, mm. you know, maybe seeing someone walk past you in a Naruto costume. Well, I guess like in an I ideal world, Naruto. Wrong. Naruto. <laughs> I love it. Because I, I, Naruto, I've always been Naruto my whole life. And then I yeah. found like some motherfucker like you would say Naruto. No, I was the, the one who was getting made fun of for saying Super Mario. Super Mario. Like actually you said that? Super Mario. Okay, that's normal. No. There was always dudes in school saying, no, you have to say Super Mario. Oh, man. Well, those are Naruto guys for sure. Yeah. yeah. What is with that? It's like you can't be caught lack in saying the actual name. That's, that's, I think that's a certain parts in Canada, maybe Wisconsin kind of thing. I don't think. They don't like being caught lacking, like being embarrassing, trying to say the right name for things. And then they things. say pasta. Yeah. Well, you what, say you can't that. say pasta? They're scared of the ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Naruto. Yeah, yeah, Mario. Pasta. They don't like the ah. Uh. They have to go past that. Did you say Naruto? Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I didn't hear that Okay, one. maybe yeah, it was not. But, um, whoa, I don't know what I just said. Um, Yes, going back to the whole shroom experience. I mean, look, the whole video was pretty much just us coming up because we had to cut out some of the fo footage at the end. It was just incohesive. Yeah, there was maybe 30 to 45 minutes of us actually holding on to dear life, sitting down on the ground. You know, maybe that will be released one day. I'm not sure, but... It's pretty scary. You you see me genuinely losing my mind because I know I looked like I was handling things in the video, um, but then I was like, oh yeah, I'm peeking, like whatever. But then I really started peeking because that's what shrooms. It kind of tricks you a little mm -mm -mm. bit. You think you're in it and you're like, oh, this is awesome, and then you hit that second layer, yeah, and you're like, oh, and I started losing my mind. And thank God Hamza was there. He was like, dude, it's okay, man. <laughs> he actually started becoming more like the looking out because you started talking to people, and that's when I was worried. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is irreversible damage being mm -hmm. done here. Let, mm -hmm. Let's get away from the kids, Martin. And you're like, la, Yeah, la, the la. kids. Oh, man. <laughs> There's a lot of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Probably going to get copy freaking striked, freaking age, age restricted. restricted. That's what we're worried about. So just set, you know, there's a donation ability in the comments, I believe. Yeah. So if everyone co donates somewhere between 10 to $15, it will be worth it. Yeah, for the ego that we lost. We reached ego death. ego death. <laughs> someone said someone said we experienced ego death when we realized people were just taking pictures of us because of the costumes and not for slushy noobs. <laughs> like we lost a piece of our ego. Because we got humbled. We got humbled. A, a slice of humble pie. Mm -hmm. A slice of life. That's what that's what that video is. It's a slice of life. Have you ever watched a slice of life anime? Uh no, it sounds awful, man. That what? It's like those ones where they're like just cooking oh. and like going and walking their dog. And it's just like, I don't know. I was confused. But so like Sword Art Online. Actually, th no, that would be the opposite. But there were scenes where they were cooking. Mm. You mm. Remember that level? Level, wh which level? So the premise of the show is that he's climbing up the levels in this virtual reality yeah, yeah. place. And then there's this one level that's just peace. And he has his girl there. And I. Oh, that's peace. Dude, I could cry right now. Whoa. I'm crying. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no. Um, that did something to me when I was a young man because it was like. It's peace for a man. It was it was incredible. It was doing that. They were chopping the anime tomatoes, making oh. soups and stuff. And it was just this girl, this beautiful girl. And they were just running around on this level. And then for some reason, he just has to skip the level. He has to keep moving on up. And oh. so. Yeah, that would make me cry too. Because imagine just a peaceful world where you're just cooking and then you have a girl by your side. Like, that's up. why I love anime. Shut up. I can't. I laugh, actually started bro. watching Naruto again after after seeing are your you costume. Are you serious? Because I was like, who are you? Oh, it's. And a, I was like, I need to see this. Oh, no, he was really cool. Yeah. What, was, how what, much? How much have you been watching? Well, I'm already. I'm from the beginning. I'm on season two. What? You are bored, man. What? It's a good anime. It's just a little... Oh man, I wish they made... Do they make a thing for like One Piece where they like skip some episodes or you can skip the episodes? Oh, I don't Cause know. Because damn, do they like to drag it out. Oh my God. Like, why is a fight four episodes long, bro? Yeah. Well, we just had time when we were youngins. Mm. I, I'll never forget Dragon Ball Z was an, an unreal. It was actually hilarious. Like, the, the next episode would start five minutes before the other one ended. 
mm. as a recap. And it yeah. was like, but I was fine with it. I was just like, I don't got nothing planned today. Like, I'm nine. I feel like they did it on purpose because when people would like tune in on their TV, they'd be like, did I watch this episode? I can't tell. And then they would, and then that would keep them to stay. Because oh. most episodes now, it's like most seasons for anything are like 10 episodes long. It's like very short nowadays, I find. Um, and like so like, you know that you've watched the episode before. For anything. Well, it's all the streaming thing. They don't have to drag you along for ads anymore. It's it's just on a streaming service, I think, right? We're trying to actually make cohesive thoughts here, guys. I don't know. I haven't watched TV in so long. Like a raw TV? Yeah. I don't even know what's... Sure. when. No, I. oh my God. Could you imagine sitting in front of a TV, watching a show, and an ad hits you in five minutes into the into the show? I mean, it's never won. And, and it's, it's never, never won. won. They it's, like they it's overload. It's it, actually yeah. like seven. No, that's why. Why? Like, yeah. Like, how do they not know that? That's why everyone's switching to streaming, dude. Because it was uncom. It had no competition. They could do whatever they want. And now there's ads on streaming websites, like man. Schneider, Mr. Schneider, Schneider put ads all over his stuff. Dan Schneider put filled ads. No, we're gonna watch the documentary after this, actually. So we're gonna. So we might be saying something insensitive right now. I don't know anything about. It. I know that he's a creep. That's all I know. Yeah, maybe he did Ozempic or something. He's got skinny all of a sudden. I don't, I don't know. know. We'll have to know on the on the. Sh- have to, I heard it's freaking crazy, shocking, shocking. Yeah, I'm in for that. I'm I'm in because I've I've been following this so long. It's kind of been like in the underground. People have been kind of talking about it here and there. But you're like, oh, you can't confirm it. Can't confirm it. You know. Oh, you know, you've had you've heard whispers. I've heard Schneider? whispers, and you know, you know, like a couple of actors here and there would say something, but then they it, it would never come you to knew light about this, and you didn't say anything. I should have stopped it. <laughs> well, that's how you're making it sound. You're like <laughs> the way you said it sounds like actors were actually telling you, like a couple no, of I would just see saying, videos, and I'm like, yeah, why is this? No, why is no one talking about this? But it's like, oh, the feet, yeah. like the feet shots were always, always that circulating. always weirded me out. Even yeah. when I was a kid, I was like, what are we? What is this? Gross. This is gross. No, that's, that's not me. For me, it was a formidable, informed me to who I am. <laughs> informed you. It form. I wonder how common. I think it's way more common than people. When bro has a foot fetish and he's trying to. Um, oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the fetish is definitely common. I think it's. But way, there's like a spectrum. I think it's way more common than you might think. I think I'd go as far as one out of two. Yeah, it's common, but when it comes to kids, that's when it's a little uncommon. <laughs> that's when it's uncommon. Right, because we are talking about children here. So wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. But damn it, do you mean like f- it's uncommon for kids to have the fetish, or for for people to like kids' feet? Both, even damn. both, even. Let's let's okay. Let's I'll now tell you this. let's talk about adults. My, well, my point was adults. I think it's m- way more common than m- people give it credit. I know people like to be like, "Oh, you like feet, dude," but well, it's, it's not like even it that is deep. A- Some guys just like you know. You're sitting on the couch with your girl. You're watching something. She throws her foot on your lap. You rub it a little, little rub bit. Rub a little bit. And it's like it's when they're nice and deep. painted. It's you're like not rock hard. Yeah. No, no, no. No. It's never that. It's, it's just like an addition to it. It's just a, if you love the whole thing, top from tippy top to top. But I don't know. That's what I've heard. Um, and, you know, I don't think we should. I feel like you low-key have one. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> How could I, man? Who I only, I only got my feet in my house. <laughs> I don't know. They got apps for that, so um, apps for feet. No way. There's enough of demand for full app. No, that I've been in, I've been insinuating that joke. I said one out of two guys, um, but it's okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, no, Mandy, not. Mandy will tell you all the fetishes I have, and I don't need to know. Them. I don't need to know all that. There's yeah. some that I don't need to know. No, but we're all humans. We shouldn't be shaming each other's fetishes unless it comes to, of course, children. children and, and that's not a fetish. That's a crime. So, yes, it will land you in jail. So, Well, it's crazy. Um, man, I was listening to something. I think it was another podcast or something. But they, they had some, like, advice segment, and someone called in and was like, yo, like, my boy, I know for a fact he has tendencies to unusually young people and like i genuinely don't know what to do like whoa and it's like do you think there's people just like that dude you know what there probably is and it's like and it's like i don't know what to 
I don't know if, if I should tell him to like sh- talk and get help or just shut up and like please I don't want to acknowledge that exists. No, because you like at that point you are actually morally obligated to like tell someone. You have to. It's like that scene at the end of Seven where Brad Pitt is in the front seat and the Kevin Spacey crazy guys in the back seat, and Brad Pitt's really mad and he goes, mm-hmm. "You're insane," and the Kevin Spacey guy goes. That's a label you give me to feel more comfortable. Mm. Dude. Damn it. Kevin Dude. Spacey was right. Oh, goes back full circle, Kevin Spacey. Well, how Damn many it. people do you think knew on the set of everything? Like, like they probably knew he was a creep, and you, they, they knew that, that he had the tendencies. They were bros with him, and they were like, yeah, he has those tendencies, and he never did anything. So that's kind of like, yeah. Everybody needs to be put down. And the whole Everybody in Nickelodeon. That's why they're all their stuff's failing now. Have you ever seen Nickelodeon stuff now? No. Awful. It goes deeper, man. I'm 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 gonna go with the Illuminati stuff. It's the only way you could write off this stuff. How is it not seen? Look, man, that's why I always stuck to Cartoon Network. Come on. <laughs> Did they do uh like live shows or is it just animated? No, it was all animated so that it was safe. Oh no one no one's hurt. No one's hurt. Oh. Except for the animators who have to work long hours and probably are <laughs> underpaid, but They'll live. They'll be fine. Um, well, that's... Um, yeah, again, we haven't seen it, so we don't know fully the context. I just know Drake Bell had his own kerfuffle. Yeah, and, there, and then yeah, and then he came out and said stuff. So it's like, it is something that we need to watch, dive into, and revisit maybe in the next one and, and put our thoughts into it. But maybe we're going to be like a Cody Ko kind of Kelsey thing. We're going to be late on it. We're <laughs> going to speak on it way after it's done because I think we're already a little late to it. It's like the game. It's, they literally pulled an equivalent of if we hopped on this podcast and we're like, Will Smith, huh? Like, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. Freaking Wait, slapped. like from last year. Oh, my God, like, dude. That's that's how long they're doing their gaps. It's the TMG now. We'll call you out because no one cares enough to tell you. Don't do we that. We care about you. This is why we're saying this. We care about you. We well, have to Cody, know. we love you. <laughs> I don't know. That's a bit much. Maybe Martin, you do. I love Cody. I love Cody, and I want to see him succeed, and I want him Whoa, to be. I got some crazy tenderness you okay? thing on. You okay? Are you? Is it? Is it happening? The dry sockets hitting now. You I, okay? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Um, did it even make? Did any of that make it? I don't know, but basically, if it didn't, Hamza just. I gas him. It's because you have less teeth in your mouth now. Your mouth's not used to it. The muscles there are not used to, yeah. you know, so they're kind of like trying to crunch up more now. Well, did this make any sense? Because they, they cut the, mu- they didn't cut no muscle to get in there. No. Mm, I don't know what they do. I th- It's Cause crazy. It, cause to pull this big of a tooth out, I saw your teeth, man. Yeah, it was a big one. It's a big one. So imagine you cut a muscle and it's like you're using it while it's healing. I'm, that's why I'm not trying. I'm trying to whisper here, um, like very mumbly. So it's not a lot of travel in my mouth. I'm I'm fine. Um, yeah, Cody Co. Man, it's like, come on, you're doing this with all your other podcasts you own. I think Brooke, she had to. I think it was a year late, the one with Brittany Broski. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, we need we want to stay current with you. We want to live with you in the same life as you. Yeah. Right. And I need to see stuff. I need you to see your thought process behind things that are going now or going on now. That's it, all. It's just not an industry practice. This derives from radio. Radio was literally live on. You were there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No, and and we're not even doing it as as be- as best as we could. We could we could even be doing this podcast live, live like like age three. I w- and 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 to do that, we acknowledge that what we are saying has no value to humanity in maybe even a month. Yeah, because the internet's just too quick these days. You can't. Life. You can't. There's songs come out, then they die. Boom. Olivia Rodrigo, deluxe album. Like, let's just throw in buzzwords. Let's just try it. Let's just try to, like, get... Bro, st- let's let's tie this podcast to a moment in time so that mm-hmm. it can't live forever. There's something beautiful there and creates makes this into a diary that is not meant to outlive us. It is here while we are here to enjoy life as we are. Mm-hmm. It's like a journal. Podcasts are not going to be podcasting anymore. They're going to be little journals. That's what they should be. Yeah. So let's spew out some current events. Via Rodrigo Deluxe album, Cardi versus Drake and Metro Boomin. Okay, okay, my turn, my turn. Um, f- financial advice on TikTok. The guy roasting everyone for living hopefully, not within their means. Hopefully his is very short-lived. Hopefully this is yeah. relevant um, by next week. What else, what else? TikTok is getting banned. Well, it's already... <laughs> too late, too late. It's already gotten banned. <laughs> um. 
Um, Anything else? Feels like I haven't been online. I've been out. I've been one with nature. After the shroom trip, I've just been, been in on nature. Star dudes. I've been, been on star. On. Yeah, it's after that. It sparked my interest for for. You're really. Cra- I'm. You know. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get on when I get home. You're. You're. You're getting me started. It's but I'm gonna do update. it alone though. Oh, it's amazing. Changes the game completely. Um. Nothing else. I, I, I don't think there's anything else right now. I think literally nothing. It's just else. us in this world. No one else matters, and we'll wait till something else comes about, and then we'll talk about it. But um. That's the beauty of uh, of of this of this day and age, twenty twenty four. This year, just say the dates. Just go ahead, stamp it. March twenty March twenty fifth. And remember, it's my birthday. I don't want to lie. Did you to get them. me anything? I don't want to lie to them. Did you get me anything? Yeah, bro. I gave okay. you it this morning. You, you forgot already. Okay. Are you gonna eat cake with me? No. Really? You're not even gonna. Sp- I know. I'm pissed because you said the one you're getting. What was it? Ice cream. Oreo ice cream cake from Dairy Queen Elite. <sighs> Okay, I, I can have the ice cream. I'll lick the ice yeah, cream. Yeah, I did it for you because I knew I predicted that you would No, have you didn't, bro. You were talking about this cake like two months ago. No, I told Mandy I need a Dairy Queen cake because it just oh, reminds me of my childhood. Um, <laughs> well, how old That I never you, had because I never were allowed to have that. Sorry, just I'm just trying to fiddle with this. And, it, and it's when you're a grown man, when you're, you know, 29 turning 30, birthdays are just something you do for yourself at the end of the day mm. you know maybe i mean you have a significant other who cares enough but you know that's what it should be no it's and it's not about the age i understand i'm old now i'm i'm you know what they're saying the big 30 what about no it? you know what they're calling me what unk mm. they're calling me unk i'm unk status now are you but i'm gonna take that in a positive way i'm a cool unk i'm the unk that maybe you smoke weed with for the first time that's not that that's shows you that hey you can trust me when it comes to stuff like that. Hmm. I never had Unk, one. Unk, maybe you go, maybe you go, maybe Unk buys you a new pair of shoes. Wow. wow. Normally Unk who smokes. Unk lets you watch R-rated movies. Hmm. I'm that type of Unk. I'm not the other Unk. What's Dan Schneider name? Unk. Whew. That's the bad Unk. I hope he was a, not an Unk to no one. He needs to like... Be like shot with a sniper, probably by like some civilian. Like someone has to just from like five feet away. <laughs> <laughs> I you know I used to think I could do that. Like at an embarrassingly old age, I'm like, I'm gonna just become an assassin. I think like if social media doesn't work, I'm gonna just like somebody has to like do someone has to to, to like take out these yeah, people, like yeah. actual horrible people. Like, no, we need a vigilante. I haven't seen many vigilantes around. Like what I see them in movies and stuff, but is anyone actually a vigilante? No, there's no vigilantes. <laughs> Except you and your spandex suit at Comic-Con. I mean, there's no I mean, we're vigil- internet vigilantes in a way. Is vigilante a b- b- bad or good? It's uh it is actually it is technically bad because people say like, you know, who are you to Oh. Take someone else's life, and well, what does vigilantes do? Are they the ones who actually stop? Definition of vigilante: mm, I don't know, actually. A member of a self-appointed group of citizens who undertake law enforcement in their uh, without legal authority. So they they don't have to kill typically people because the legal agencies are thought to be inadequate. They don't have to kill people. Though, so right? they're good, though. But they, I mean, in a way, they take the role of police. Oh my God! It's it's those guys who like go up to you and say, "I'm placing you under citizen's arrest." Not like <laughs> Portland, no. Like not like freaking Oregon style. Like okay, because those are lame. No, we need someone with an actual mission. Superpower. Like that's what we need. We need superheroes. I wish they were real. We need that. Yeah. We do. Who's you know who they are? Is those ones who freaking pull up on them with the camera and record them, and make them call their family and say that they're a pedophile. <laughs> oh my God, Vitaly. No. <laughs> Vitaly's the best. No, creep catchers and stuff like that. No, Vitaly's doing that now too, bro. He does that? Ten times worse. You guys remember Vitaly, old YouTuber. He's on kick now. He will literally... The guy who would spread Nutella on people's booties. Yeah, and do your imitation. You have such a good imitation (laughs) of him. (laughs) Hey, girl, come here. Let me spread some Nutella on your booty. (laughs) Those were his pranks. It was just assault. But um, he's on kick now. He'll round up one of these guys. Look, I'm not saying what they did is good. But some of these guys are literally 23, getting caught, talking to a 16-year-old. Like, okay, like some of y'all know people in your hometown who literally, like, okay. I mean, it's insane. But what he does to these people. I'm not 16. Okay, yay. yeah. But I know what you mean. Like an 18-year-old. I'm not just, okay, freshly sorry, 17. It did 18, sound yeah. like I justified it. 
But let me just say what he does to these people. I'm, I mean, and I'm also saying that to say that there's no crimes committed. It's just texting an, an anonymous person. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. In the court of law, we have reasons. You can't prosecute someone for messaging. Anyway, anyway, he'll make them like call their parents, then eat those one chip hot chips. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane. Wait, so like, he's just... And like makes them like touch their eyes like after eating it. Like it's genuinely unreal. Um... I'm surprised no one has ended their lives after, you know, a, a brush with Vitaly. Yeah, no, that's awful. Yeah, because, like, like he's also, internet, he's really he's not. a horrible person as He's well. a horrible person, so who is he to even do this? Like, and they're always horrible people. Like, those other guys, the creep catchers yeah. or whatever, they got caught bad. Because they're, because tr- you know what it is, is, like, they're trying to. Well, they don't care about, you. they're not really trying to cover. I mean, maybe Vitaly's trying to cover his yeah. story. They but don't care about the kids. They don't, they care, don't about the care about the kids. They just see it in and, and they have, they're so unsympathetic. Like, look, man, I don't rock with those people either. But it'd take a lot f- for another human being for me to like hold them at gunpoint and make them like eat those one chips and like rub their eyes with it as they like scream in pain. Mm. Those and are those are the vigilantes that we're working with. So we need someone to step up to the plate. So if you're listening and you guys are, have been kind of also in the same mindset as us, put on a costume, put on some spandex, mm. get out there, stop the crime for us. Have you ever seen um, One Punch Man? Mm-hmm. Like the one guy, the the, the one hero guy that sucks, like, but the one that sucks. Oh no, I haven't the, seen. It. Like in that world, everyone has like an ability, and then there's this one guy who just rides a bike. Like that's what we're gonna summon. It's just like a guy who rides a bike. <laughs> like kick ass. What's, what's that movie? Yeah, kick ass. That's what we're asking for. Um Yeah. I've just enjoyed being quiet at home, man. I haven't talked I've been home for four days. You also haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. I've been we home. We went for to Comic Con last week and then I've just been playing Stardew Valley every single day since then. Yeah. That's it. Because you're because you're just like I'm like, hey, you good to record? You're like, mm mm. <laughs> Bro, I checked my notes for the podcast. This was me. This is all I have, bro. Can I have napkins? Ooh, are you I about- showed this to someone at the place because I couldn't talk. Yeah, I remember when you first got them out, dude. When you first got them out, what was up with the freaking pharmacist, man? Oh yeah, we beef with the pharmacist. You're like in pain, the wisdom teeth. You're just like, hey, like I'm just need these three drugs. I mean, you just showed him the thing and he yelled at me to sit down. And then he made us wait for like ever. I don't know, dude. Canada is Canada. Is, we need a vigilante to just shoot, the, burn the place shoot. down, <laughs> burn the pharmacy down, so no one can get meds. That's exactly how Vitaly <laughs> would think. Come on, Vitaly would just go in and like take all the med- he'd take all the painkillers. No, I just remember blood just like gushing out of your mouth, like filling up that gauze. Oof, that was a sight to see. I was like, man, you got to change those. And I was like, uh uh-uh. uh. I just, and it wasn't even urgent. That's the worst part of this. I all. know. It wasn't urgent at all. You went from this, dude. A month ago, you're like, I'm so lucky, man. I don't have to get my wisdom teeth out. Did I say To that? next week saying, okay, I have one that I got to get out. And then you went, I got to get all four out. Because <laughs> they just bundled them up. They're like, you might as well since you're here. That's what I did. I only needed two. But I couldn't. Oh, my God, dude. I had one that was here and then one here. So like a diagonal sort of situation. And I'm like, am I really going to pull out those two and just be left with, like, uneven teeth? Mm. No, that would kill me. I can't do that. So you had to. So I had to go for all four. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, diagonal. That don't want, That'd don't be want. weird. What am I chewing? Like, oh. Yeah. And I also just did it because I thought it'd help with the Invisalign if there's more room in the back. You do get more space in the back, which is nice. Like, sometimes I feel back there and I'm like, oh, it's nice to, like, be able to. And your teeth kind of adjust a little bit because they got a little bit of room. I literally, but it also moved my Invisalign deadline. Maybe finish. you'll come out with a nice like gap. A and a half. Gap. Yeah, because now your teeth got mo- uh, like room to move. Front? Yeah, the nice London, the London look. I'm not feeling the London look, to be honest with you. I, I used to think I, that was like the cutest thing in the world for a girl to have that. I still think it is. Like, I think it is, but it's like I, so badly that I wanted it. Oh, you thought yeah. you would be cute? Like, I was like, oh, I think everyone, like, that would be cute. And I was, like, thinking of, like... trying really yeah. hard not to laugh, bro. You thought you... Imagine me with the London look. And you thought it would be, like, cute. Yeah. It would be a little bit cute. If you had a little... Yeah. Mm. It's not too late. <laughs> I feel like it only looks good on girls. Sorry, any London look guys out there. 
it it's it's so much you have to have everything else right and then you put the london look and then it's fun mm -hmm. but if anything's arrived the fits off then it's then immediately the immersion is gone then you just look like scary you, you just rolled in off the street kind of yeah. thing yeah, unfortunately my big thing is I told Martin I'm definitely going to be binge eating as soon. But the thing is, I can't even binge eat. I don't have a date to look forward to. It's like I literally have to ease my way back in. Oh, now I can eat avocados. Oh, now it's like I'm freaking my first I think time. you'll be okay tomorrow for my birthday. I want to. <laughs> I think there's something special <laughs> about that day. There's something, about that day. there's something special about that day. There's something special about that day. I think you'll be better tomorrow on my birthday. I just, I just have a feeling because... Like I've seen the improvement. I, no, you you don't have my mouth, bro. You just said I I'm see yellow your mouth from all the, front. the time. You just said there's yellow from the front, bro. If there's it's yellow. a little bruised. It's a little bruised. Oh, we ain't we ain't even getting started, bro. And look, I'm just so I'm realizing I I don't eat to live. I live to eat. Mm -hmm. That is my purpose. I'm realizing it. I, this is what it took. <laughs> I love food. I know you, dude. It's and okay, bro. It I know you me. do. They took it from me. You'll get it back. You'll be eating in no time, okay? I already booked you. What did I book? What are we getting? Korean barbecue, the freaking grill. We got to do that. I don't know why I haven't done that in a year. It's like, it's like whenever you leave your hometown, it's like, why haven't I done that? And it's like, oh, I got to go back. You know what the sad truth is about food in general in today's age and society? What? Is that that's really the only thing that kind of gives... Like the taste of food, rush. it's the only it's the only true Affordable. dopamine in this world, and other you know, than your phone. And I used to complain about that, but mm -hmm. I think it's fine. Yeah, like everything else seems so gray, and then you take a bite of like a and nice Wendy's burger. Oh yeah, and then you see oh, a mukbanger. I saw a mukbanger dip a like five cheese Domino's pizza into butter chicken. Wow, and that just made me cry. I was like, that's what life is. I need that. I want to try that. Nico Cado, avocado, whatever. Yeah, bro. He was onto something. Now tell me, am I out of line for thinking that, or would you try that? Am I, am I, in my delusions of grandeur here? Look, you know me. I'm not, and I'm not even the biggest. Like, I eat food. Like, I you love, eat, I yeah. love food too. No, I love, love food. food. You're not picky, but I'm not the biggest. Like, I can't stomach down like as much as you. But I still love it. I still love eating it. It brings me joy. I love trying new foods. It's so. It's like the only thing that really puts a smile on my face. You see how excited I get whenever we say, "Hey, you hungry?" Yeah, you get very excited. You get excited, man. Um, no, I would I would be impressed by that too. Dipping something in some butter chicken. A pizza and butter chicken. I love mixing things like that. Yeah. You know, I was the kid in, in school mixing things. Chocolate milk mixed with some pickles and stuff. Oh, well, that's a little... Okay. That doesn't fit. I'm thinking, of, you know, I had these dumplings dipped in butter chicken once. Why is everything dipping in butter chicken? I don't know. Because butter chicken is elite, man. I can, I can just swallow it though. Butter chicken? Just the kind of soup. Like the sauce? Yeah, you can, but the chicken I'll just have to let it pass. I ha I ordered hummus. I had hummus this morning. I just wanted the texture of like they gave me those pita chips. Okay, I just licked them, bro, to soften them up a little bit. No, I just licked them, and then you just put them away. Yeah, and what I didn't even put them away. They're just still sitting out in the kitchen. I'm struggling a little bit, huh? All right, let's see what's going on with you guys. So. Normally, we have an advice segment. Last time, I believe we asked for confessions. Either or, we try our best, guys. We really do. Do we? No, we don't. Let's see what you guys are got going on here. The way to send it, send it in is by DMing out of character pod on Instagram. First one is a confession, I believe. Ooh, I'm excited. Here we go. Hi, Martin and Hamza. I love, love, love everything you guys are doing, and I am a major Martin bias. There you go. Sorry, Hamza, you are funny sometimes too. Thanks. I have a confession for you to read on the podcast, maybe. So I started university this year, and I happen to be going to the same one as my best friend. I think she chose the same one because of me. We have decided to be roommates to save money and also to know someone there. I think I have actually started to resent her, not just as a roommate, but as a person. She's a horrible friend, and I've actually begun to hate her. Like, I viscerally get angry at the thought of her. She has kind of, she is kind of used to me in the past. She's kind of used me in the past and is also a full-on pathological liar and is caught in her lies on a weekly basis. I want to end the friendship so badly, but cannot because we still have a few months of living together. And I'm also afraid of confrontation. 
It just feels like she is a hateful weight on my life, and I hate who I am around her. Hate, 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 hate. Damn. I, can I say her full name? What if I did? Then you'd ruin her life, dude. You have the power that we hold. The pow- uh, You should be reading these, man. Why am I reading these? I don't I know. I barely even got through that. I don't know. Even without your wisdom teeth, dude. We gotta switch things up, I think. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. Do you ever have someone like that? Um... No, I lived with roommates and it's and it's awful. It's just an awful experience because you're just literally meshing lives with two other people and like for some reason you naively think it's like all going to work out perfectly, mm-hmm. but it just never does. I don't think I've ever heard of a good roommate situation. And if you if you do have good roommates, then that's the outlier. That's like, yeah, that's the odd one out. So I think I there's many times that I want to like blow up at my roommate and I I did sometimes. You have to you have to like talk to them after everything you can't just bottle things up and like hopefully one day you'll because you'll just blow up at them you got to talk to them mm-hmm. it's not a confrontation it's just hey like it's a conversation yeah it's a conversation you got to tell them stuff i know this wasn't necessarily a, an advice thing but like i've dealt with it and it's awful it's actually the worst thing i can ne- i could never imagine living with a roommate again it's a life uh it's your whole life mm-hmm. becomes your life you think dude Min- ooh, ooh, I could go in right now and just you dish everything t- out. The stories you have to tell. So I have so many stories of just like awful things, but I just can't, I just can't like, it just makes me angry thinking about it. Cause I just, I'm just not the type of person. Like the only person I could live with is Mandy because Mandy just, because I genuinely love her. If I didn't love her and like she wasn't my girlfriend and I had to live with someone, like I'd still, yeah, it's just. Can't. You make those compromises for her. You don't. You don't put up all the posters that you want. I think if you ask Mandy, though, I think she'd. Yeah, I think she'd. Not, she'd not say the same thing. <laughs> I know my ass is hard to live with. Sorry, Mandy. I love you so much. Dang. I'm sorry you feel that way. We man. all. We all make you sacrifices. Should. Come on. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's. Uh, thanks for confessing and to more confessions. Martin's gonna read this next one. Here we go. Hey, Diva Cups, I gave your podcast a five-star rating and a like, and you guys should as well. Anyways, I need help with the decision. I'm a junior in high school in Oklahoma, and prom is coming up really soon. I want to go, but none of my friends are going, and I don't have a boyfriend to go with. My mom has suggested I ask someone, but I'm the most anxious person ever, so that would be terrifying. Anyways, if you guys have any suggestions, I would really appreciate it, because I don't want to miss out on prom. I just want to live it up, because I never do anything interesting. Also, if you read this, I will subscribe to the Patreon. And you guys should too. Wow. There you go. Well, thank you. And prom. Prom was an interesting time for me. Did you go to prom? I've never been to a prom. Okay. Do you feel like you missed out on something? No, because I'm 22 now. Honestly. Yeah. So that's kind of what prom. I mean, I went to prom. Um, it was, we actually went on a boat, a boat ride at night. Oh, fuck you, man. And no, no, no it was, feel, it, no, was, awful. Like it was awful. It was awful. It was late, two hours, so we were standing on the cold because for some reason it was cold that night. And we went on the we went on the boat ride, and for some reason there was just and because it's your entire school, that's the best part is you get to really see everyone in your in your grade in your grade, um, dressing up. Attempting. But then you actually hang out with people you've never hung out with, mm. and then you realize the activities that they're into are not lining up with yours. Like I went to the washroom, and some guy was just taking Zan- like there was just Xanax all over the washroom. What the hell? Yeah. Euphoria freaking high school, Martin. It was just this one dude. Like, he just was, like, taking Xanax in the washroom. There was a bar of Xanax on the freaking toilet. And did he invite you? He invited me, and I politely declined. I said, this is not the type of party I was expecting. Are you for real? You're yeah. You're vigilante we've been looking for. <laughs> I know. I, and, and what I did was I actually told someone and got him some help because he was actually face deep into the toilet. Are you sleeping. serious? Yeah. No, so I, we need to clarify. So that was my prom. So, you know, try to, you know, if you are skipping prom, that's what you'd be missing out on. Mm. I would say. Because that's my prom experience. I don't know if there's any good ones. I feel like they're all bad. Did you go with a woman? Um, I did go with a woman, yeah. Wow. And how did yeah. you manage that? I, I I asked her to go. I asked, I said, hey, would you like to go to prom with me? And um, she said yes. And were you nervous going into that? Um, I wasn't nervous. I had a couple other options I could go with because I was just friends with a lot of girls. Wow. But um, but I chose this one person because they were kind of really cool about it. They were, and they, you know, I was like, okay, it wasn't weird. I wasn't. Uh, it wasn't a a, a a romantic thing. 
Oh, it was a friend one. It was like a gay best friend kind of. Yeah, I was actually a lot of people's gay best friend, but I wasn't gay. As you, as you like hit one of these, <laughs> you literally like hit a like a Junko pose. So many anime references in this one, huh? Is Junko pose an anime? Junko, isn't that? What's Jinxie? That? I don't freaking know, man. Too much anime. So what advice would you give this young lady who's very nervous about going alone? Easy. Just go have a great time. That guy was having a great time, face deep into the toilet. He went alone. Well, he didn't. He brought a whole bag of drugs with him. But, you know, like, there's ways to enjoy it without having a date. You know, like, I'd, I think I think, I think, you'll be better, much better off going because I think you'll be better than, than the guy who was face deep into the toilet. You won't have a, that bad of a night. Come on. You'll be with your friends. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's dressed up. That's the best part about it. Is like, it's like you really get to see everyone out of their element. If it makes you feel any better, my friend, uh, when I was in high school, a Korean exchange friend, and just because he's an exchange student doesn't know English very well, he can also be a dick, you know? Like, they don't have to all be innocent and nice. Mm -hmm. He was convinced he wanted to ask this one girl to prom. This girl was freaking, um, she was non-binary, I, I believe, and we're like, hey, man. They were non-binary. You know what? She was in the middle of the mix. So okay, I'm so actually she, not yeah, wrong. So don't try me. Okay, don't so try to do that. So right she now. they. She was in she they form. Yeah, she was in the midst of it. Now I believe fully transitioned. Anyway, my point is, we're telling him, hey, I don't think she would even be remotely interested in you, mm -hmm. which she wasn't. She was also very quiet and everything. Anyway, he went into a real cocky, got denied. It was super embarrassing for him. Mm -hmm. So. That's the best part about prom is all the denials. That's what they don't talk about is all the rejections for the don't proposals. Don't tell this girl about it. She, she, we, we got to give her rose-colored glasses. Oh, is she asking someone? I didn't see that. She's she's saying, should I? how do I ask someone without being nervous? Oh, just... Oh, I saw yeah. girls going with girls, friends. Like, people go with, like, groups. It's not... Yeah. Yeah, it actually is a very groupy thing. Yeah. You know what? All my friends went without me and didn't invite me. What did you do on prom night? I just went home. Like, in just a normal day. But like, but like, literally, all my friends went without me. That's and it. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna throw you your very own prom night, dude. <laughs> the prom, the prom that you never had. That's the next Bro, video that we okay. should do. Wow! And we just invite a bunch of uh, just getting Schneider on me, man. Don't get all Schneider <laughs> on me. Um, <laughs> that would be fun, though. I was so I was really sad, but I but I was like so not taking a person. We gotta see you in a suit. That's what we gotta see. You. No, bro, I wore a suit to the to the banquet for my soccer team. I was traumatic. Anyway, I wasn't supposed to wear it. Let's just say I was the only one there. And anyway, next up, hi Martin and Hamza. Trigger warning: dead cats. Oh wow. Hey guys, so I'm a nursing major here in Texas, and I'm not sure if this is a Texas college thing for anatomy lab, but we have to dissect actual cats wow yeah it's insane and totally sad i'm sorry martin i love fish and carl but the advice i would like to ask is if mandy's around if she ever had to dissect a cat for her degree path and how she got through it and if she never has well then whatever you guys how do i cope with it i have lab partners that have done all the cutting so far and i just feel like i don't contribute at all but can you blame me it's a literal cat what do i do because i cannot fail by the way my name is Galea. Love you guys. Oh, Jalea. Love you guys and the pod. But seriously, help me. Wow, she is stressing. She's saying her name and the end of it. That's how stressed out she is. <laughs> <laughs> the introduction was in the conclusion. Uh, well, I w you know, take this guy and dissect him, please. No, I couldn't do it. Mandy's stronger than me. No, she's definitely done some dissections. Um, I mean, she deals with it? literal people dying every day, so... It's it's a it's a tough position to be in. If you're not ready to see a human dead, um, then quit, bro. I don't want you in the freaking hospital. If yeah, no, I mean, don't out. tell her to quit. And look, it's hard. It's hard to stomach it. Is it's it gonna come out all pickled and everything? I don't know. I think it's like frozen in place or something. Yeah, if it's all pickled and like frozen, like just think of it as like I don't know. What do they call those toys? Squishmallows, <laughs> or like a stuffed animal. Think of it as like a stuffed animal, and you're just. Opening the stuffing. It's not real. What what animals have you actually have you dissected? Cause I, I dissected. It was a, lot. a yeah, it was a frog, I think, just a classic. Frog. Did you hit the pig? They put a pig? You dissected a pig? Not a full one, like a baby pig. A piglet? Really? Piglet. Seriously. 
Southern Kudos, Illinois. Kudos, bro. Kudos. But did, is it not Illinois, s- man? They wrangled that themselves in the freaking backyard. <laughs> Isn't it so familiar that smell the formaldehyde? For me, oh. it's so familiar because I would get elbow deep in that hoe. I would really just play. It was my play zone. But I'm not gonna say that like I wouldn't be freaked out at a cat. I'd probably be very scared. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with you right now. I feel like you're trying to be a human right now, and you can't. Well, my these teeth, man, they're dissecting me. I'm dissecting. You said them. you would be playing in it. Well, like really. And then you tried to put on the mask again. And you're like, but I would of course be really sad, like every other human in this world. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here, you freak! What do you mean? You. I just mean. I really took at it as a scientific space, and I really got in there. Okay. That's how you got For science, for science. Like, there's people, it's very common in, in, like, medical fields who jump at the opportunity to, like, see open heart surgery. Like, you got to change your mindset. Like, Yeah, you're doing it for science. You know, this pet was never going to be adopted. It was probably just going to be thrown away in a dumpster somewhere. Damn. So... You're doing you're doing good for the world. You're discovering new things about cats. That's the positive. That's how progress is made is yeah. through moments like this. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm giving up my body for for science. Really? Yeah, I will. What disease would you like to solve if you could have one? Mm, I'll put it I'll put all of it into I'll put all my chips into cancer research or something. I don't know. Really? No like Do bodies help with that? Not like IBS that your, your body would probably be like a good Example. Oh, like Crohn's or something, maybe? You think you got Crohn's? Something Crohn's adjacent. I don't know. Well, the screen is black, so you're just listening to Crohn's in the dark. But, um, you know, just as a final message to that, like, I don't know, man. You got to watch. You know what you I'm need hungry. to do? Scroll through reels a little bit. Scroll through reels. Look at some car accidents. Look at some people dying. Desensitize yourself a bit and you'll be fine. Well, that's some great advice. Hopefully the Reddit's not too angry at that. God forbid. Well, thank you for listening. Sorry if this is a little bit of a more mellow episode, a different vibe. But just um, just everybody say happy birthday, Marin, in the, in the chat right now. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm hearing so many of them. Thank you, guys. Yeah. We'll be back next week with even more energy. Yes, inshallah. Ramadan Mubarak. Come on, say it. Ramadan Mubarak. Oh, okay. Is that how you say it? Yeah, that's pretty good.